Good morning, everybody. I'm Adam Bilsing, and this is the Oregon Drum Project, where we do daily deep dives into every aspect of playing the drums. Today is day 194, and our topic is my half-circular brush pattern workout. If you'd like to practice along with me today, I'll be doing some stuff out of the Brush Secret DVD, specifically the half circular motion patterns, and I'm at 68 beats per minute. I've talked a lot about these patterns before, and uh, we've gone over them all in some amount of detail, but one thing that I haven't done yet is really describe my exact workout, what I'm doing with these patterns, and uh, how I make it last, you know, like an hour and a half or more every day. I'm sure that it might seem like I'm just sitting here stirring mindlessly for an hour and a half, but I actually have this broken down into several small segments that help me get through the day and make sure that I'm getting as much done as I want to. So for starters, we have the three different patterns. There's the quarter note pattern. There's the eighth note pattern. And there's the 16th note pattern. And those are what we're working out. So to begin with, I break those down and spend like a half hour or 40 minutes on each of those patterns. And then within those breakdowns, what I do is, I'll use the quarter note pattern as an example. I'll do like seven or eight minutes moving the quarter note pattern up and down through the tables of time. So I'll play it quarter notes, quarter note triplets, eighth note, eighth note triplets, and as far up the ladder of subdiv subdivisions as I can reasonably play it. So for example, at 68, this is what it sounds like. Now, the only difference being I will spend a lot more time on each of those subdivisions, stretch that whole thing out so it lasts seven or eight minutes. Then what I do is separate the hands and do that same thing, but one-handed for another seven or eight minutes. So I'll go. And back down, you get the idea, but spread out a lot longer, more than one measure per subdivision. So I'll do that seven or eight minutes with my right hand, same thing, seven or eight minutes with my left hand, and then I'll combine them again and do the whole ladder up and down, just like I did for the first part of it for another seven or eight minutes. And that takes up, I don't know, 30, 35, 40 minutes, depending on how long I spend really on each of them. So I do that for the quarter note pattern. I'll do that again for the eighth note pattern. The eighth note pattern one-handed is very tricky and very worthwhile. It helps you really understand what each of your hands are doing individually. And my favorite part about doing these exercises one-handed is that you don't give yourself any place to hide. A lot of times when you're using both hands, you can sort of, uh, do a bad job with one hand because you're only paying attention to the other, but when you break them down, separate them and do each hand individually, there's no place to hide and you learn a lot and gain a lot of ground pretty fast. And then like I said, I'll do the same thing with the 16th note pattern. Now granted with the 16th note pattern, I sort of start it down at eighth notes and work it up to 16th note triplets. That way uh, I have a wide range of subdivisions to go through and I can really pay attention to the details at the slowest subdivision but it sounds kind of funny doing the 16th note pattern with eighth notes that almost doesn't make any sense I think you get what I mean though so uh, that's what I'm doing to make these half circular exercises last a whole entire morning so uh, as a way of showing you where I'm at, I'm gonna go ahead and do the combined half circular exercise, which I know you've seen before. I'm at 68 beats per minute. Let's see how my hands look today. 
Oh, and I still have my feet on quarter notes. One and three on the right foot, two and four on the left foot. A little sloppy at the top, but that always happens. All right, that's gonna do it for day 194 of the Oregon Drum Project. That's 194 days working towards my ultimate goal of ecstatic improvisation through technical mastery of the drum set, which just means that I wanna freak out real good behind the drums. Special thanks as always to my video producer, Mr. Silas himself over at Red 11 Media. Also shouts out today to Remo Drumheads and Ludwig Drums because I got to play on the actual snare drum. And of course, AKG microphones for making everything sound so nice. If you'd like to follow along and make sure you don't miss any episodes of the Oregon Drum Project, go ahead and like and subscribe below. You can also catch me over on Twitter and Instagram at Dirty Bandana, on Reddit at Dirty Bandana Drums, and you can get all the details for everything about the Oregon Drum Project, including a cool merch store where you can buy shirts like this Backbeat shirt at DirtyBandana.com. That's it for now. We'll see you all next time.